let's take a look at section 4.4, direct proof and counterexample for division into cases and the quotient remainder theorem. Okay, now division into cases is a technique of proof writing uh, that is needed sometimes when you need to split up your argument to deal with, uh, to, to give you an overall universal proof you might need to split up and focus on even integers and then odd integers or something to that effect, okay, depending on, you know, what you're writing a proof about. In a separate video, I include an example of division into cases. I'm not going to focus on it in this video, but I would refer you to that other video and the textbook for other examples. The quotient remainder theorem says the following. Given any integer n and positive integer d, there exist unique integers q and r such that n equals d times q plus r, where r is greater than or equal to zero and less than d. So q and r are the quotient and remainder. Okay, it makes it easy to remember. q is the quotient, r is the remainder. And that explains that restriction on R. R has to be greater than or equal to zero, but less than D. So the remainder can only be so big, um, and it has to be non-negative. Notice that word unique there. There exist unique integers Q and R. And what that is saying is that there's only going to be one choice of Q and R that works in any given example. Um, so if one person gets one answer and another person gets a different answer, there must be a mistake somewhere. Let's look at some examples. n equals 38, d equals 5. What we're doing here is we're dividing 38 by 5. We'll have some remainder and we'll have our quotient. In this case, the quotient is 7, the remainder is 3 because 38 equals 5 times 7 plus 3. Be a little bit careful when you have a negative n. Okay, remember n can be any integer, so it could be negative. Um, and if we're dividing here, we might at first think that q is going to turn out to be negative 2. That's not the case. And the reason for that has to do with that restriction on r. r has to be greater than or equal to 0 and less than d. So in order for that to work, the unique integers q and r in this case are negative 3 and, and 1, because negative 20 is 7 times negative 3 plus 1. Okay, so be a little careful when n is negative, because it might, you know, turn out to be not quite what you expected. One other case that to, to be aware of is sometimes your value for d is a larger number than the value for n. And that's going to mean that the quotient is 0. Um, so here we get 14 equals 23 times 0 plus 14. So q equals 0 and r equals 14. Okay, so when n is smaller, in absolute value than d, um, then you're going to see this come up, that, that q will be 0. OK, so a related concept here is the concept of div and mod. And these are things that perhaps you've seen before. Um, and div d is the q that we were talking about. n div d is the integer quotient obtained when n is divided by d, and mod d is the remainder, that's the r, the non-negative integer remainder obtained when n is divided by d. Okay, and that last sentence you see there is just, again, me uh, stating that they are q and r and div d is q, and mod d is r. So if we look at our previous examples and restate that using 
div and mod, we're going to get those same numbers. Okay, so nothing new here except the notation. Uh, rather than Q and R, we're using div and mod. Uh, one thing to be aware of, you, you may, as I said, have seen div and mod in other contexts, perhaps in programming or somewhere else, and may have used different notation. What I would ask in this class, just for consistency, that we maintain the use of div and mod uh, when, we're, when we're working with these concepts, okay, rather than some other notation you might be familiar with. The next section, we finally get away from direct proof and counterexample um, to talk about indirect argument, uh, contradiction, and contraposition. Um, this is another important category of proof, um, and uh, look forward to that video. Um, hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.